Sorry about that, Pisces. Sorry about that, Pisces. It looks like it cut off there. Um, so this person's a good communicator. They can also cut things away that no longer serve them. Um, this person uh, can stand up for themselves and um, kind of put people back in their place as well as what's coming through. Um, we also have the Knight of Wands here though. So someone who doesn't like to dilly dally, someone who's motivated, passionate, fired up. Um, this person it can come off a little hyper. Um, it's just because they're really excited about the project or whatever it is, the endeavor ahead, okay? Um, they can be kind of in and out though um, and they can be kind of like dramatic, like you'll make, feel their presence of coming in and out, but um, this is also movement forward, okay? It's also action. Um, and then we have the star here. So this is healing. This is follow, following the divine, um, letting them lead the way and knowing that, you know, everything is going to work out um, for everyone's best interest, okay? So it's not always just about us. Like behind the scenes, all these little things are happening so that it is the best, best outcome for everybody. Um, and this is what's happening during this time, okay? And, and there's there's going to be healing. Uh, very specifically, we could be dealing with a King of Cups. So we have, um, I sure a divine masculine here, but we have someone here with lots of depths and layers. This person's very psychic. He's the most psychic of all the kings. Um, this person, and it's very intuitive, I just picked up on as well. Uh, but this person's very artsy, very creative. Um, they might also be very spiritual. Um, they, uh, yeah, they're very creative. So they could be in music, writing, um, just art in general. Uh, they could, they might have been a poet and they didn't even know it, just came through for someone. Uh, and like this could very well be you guys Pisces like this person who's very creative uh, has like a lot of depths and layers to them um, you know there's a lot of emotion here as well as coming through uh, but very psychic very intuitive um, so someone could have been like bored or discontent okay I just heard in a relationship or just in a situation um, they are telling you, this is someone who's like bored and discontent is like taking the time to reevaluate what's in front of them. Um, but there is usually, uh, in this card, the divine trying to offer a cup and the person not seeing it because they're so fixated on what's happening in front of them. So I just heard see past illusions, connect with the divine, take that time to meditate, connect with your star stuff, your galactic beings, um, to get some more clarity if that's what, what you need. Or, or even downloads, okay? <clears throat> it, looks at work, it looks like working really hard at your craft is really gonna start to pay out for you, especially in the middle towards the end of um, the month there. Um, so someone, uh, this is, we also have uh, this King of Pentacles here. So this could be an investor, someone in finances. It could be an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But this is someone who's solid, stable, reliable. This person has a lot of material wealth. They're a good provider for others. Um, this person is usually like a business person as well, like maybe a, a businessman. Um, and this person could very well be investing you or like watching what you're doing and really um, seeing that like your craft could really pay out. Like it, it could be some sort of like investment or maybe they'll even give um, some sort of like opportunity or, or good news or something. Uh, we do have the Empress here. So we have divine feminine energy moving into the end of the month. Um, you could be dealing with uh, like I am picking up on a mother and a child here, okay? So uh, this is someone who's very loving, very nurturing, um, very fertile, very abundant. Um, this could even be like three generations, like I am picking up on like a mother, a grandmother, and like a child. Um, someone might have a lot of emotions, okay? And they don't know how to express them. Um, there's a lot of feelings here, uh, but when this page comes about, it also brings good news. So for some of you, you could be becoming a parent, um, is coming through. Um, 
Yeah, and this could have been a little bit of a secret. Um, you may have needed to see past illusions, um, but the divine is here to help out. So there's a lot of illuminating going on towards your, the end of, um, also too, like with this mother and child, like there is a lot of emotions there. Like just be patient, see past illusions. Um, this person could be extremely intuitive and this could be part of the reason why like there could be very empathic. So maybe even helping them with that could 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 really um make this moon into a sun it could really help them okay with with their abilities because they are guided by a light they are following a light so they, they they get this um and you know maybe this is even passed on through generations okay this like abilities and this gift this divine feminine energy um so we do have that coming through here um this is seeing past illusions. Um, something could have been hidden by the divine um, and it, is, it looks like it's now going to be illuminated. It brings a lot of happiness, joy, success. Um, this, is, this is domestic bliss, this is good health, this is just pure happiness, okay? Um, you may need to stand up to uh, some people. This is someone feeling defensive or feeling the need to stand their ground. It looks like towards conflict or opposing views um, or people that can't get along. Uh, you might even need to, you know, um, really like exert your power and stand up for what you believe in in order to receive your happiness as well. Um, also too, like just standing up for the light is what came in. Um, also too, like planetary is coming through a lot, like astronomy. Um, so like very strong, like, like the stars, um, Aurora Borealis is coming through, the moon's coming through. Um, I'm seeing like constellations. Um, yeah, we have the sun, we have things rotating around it, I have earth energy. So yeah, a lot, a lot happening here. Okay, so some um, additional messages for some people. So you could have been dealing with um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone who is very diligent, I heard. Someone who looks at all the facts and um, like really analyzes, has a lot of knowledge, is really laser focused on whatever they're doing that sometimes they um, lack connection. Like they might, you might feel disconnected from this person. Um, but this person has like a lot of intelligence um, and they're just really focused on what it is they're trying to achieve at this time. They also help hold a lot of power. They can take action um, and they could be really like good with, with their words. Like what they said is really well thought out. Um, you could have felt defeated with a type of energy like this, okay? Um, or this, if this is you, you're feeling defeated. Um, this is someone who feels kind of like backstabbed or betrayed um, or that like someone's spoiling for a fight. Um, it could have had to done with like um, some sort of ending. This is the death card here. So an ending, a transformation and a rebirth. Um, also know that like whatever this was has transformed or will transform and there's going to be this rebirth into a beautiful new beginning. So you literally have um, the death card turning into a new beginning in love. One that is more emotionally fulfilling, one where people's cups are full um, and they're, they're full cups of love to give to one another, okay? Um, so someone, um, we have their wishes and desires here, okay, and, and manifesting them. So whatever you wish or desire. Um, also too, like spying on other people, um, like wishes and desires or like um, even like spying on like what people have like manifested for themselves. Um, could create a little bit of entrapment for you, okay? This could um, cause conflicting ideas. This could keep you feeling trapped or stuck. Um, they are telling you to look at your shadow side, okay? Look at the darker aspects of yourself or even some past traumas um, that you've experienced because this is what's keeping you kind of stuck, okay? And they really want you to focus more on like what you wish and desire. Um, opposed to just like watching what everybody is doing. Um, you, there could be some sort of like secretness or um, there could be some sort of secret love or some sort of um, secretness, or there could be some sort of, there could have been some sort of deception or secret within a relationship or in your love life that caused um, you to feel this way, to feel this like trapped um, kind of lower vibration, but, Pay attention to that, like look into it. You can always heal it. 
um, and they are saying to focus more on what it is that you truly wish and desire. Uh, we also have someone here who um, could be really upset about things that didn't work out. Um, this person's kind of like crying over spilled milk. Uh, soon you're going to start to see your ships come in for you. It could come in a form of a partnership, two people coming together to create something. Uh, you, Someone could be very single right now. Um, this is a card of like singlehood or independence, a life of like luxury. This person has a lot of wealth, independent wealth for themselves. Um, maybe this person wants to help you release burdens. Uh, this is someone feeling really overwhelmed by responsibilities or burdens from um, perhaps like um, the past um, or walking away. So this is someone that's walking away from things that no longer serve them. They literally like could pack up their stuff and, and walk away or, or leave. Um, this could have happened in the past or this could be something like from, from the past or someone from the past. Um, you could be walking away towards someone from the past. Sorry, that's what I was trying to get at. Um, very strongly, I am feeling this air energy come through, this this um, very strongly Libra, but it could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, and this is going to bring justice, okay? It's gonna balance the scales. Um, it's gonna bring in justice and uh, balance to, to your situation and to the past even. Okay, perfect. Well, thank you so much, guys, for letting me tap into your energy. I'm just going to close out with some loving words from your angels. And they say to you, embrace those around you. This is a time of great spiritual growth for you. Make it even more important to surround yourself with those who love and share your beliefs. Love you and share your beliefs. Be willing to accept help from others. You could find comfort in traditional solutions, or your heart may long to try out new ideas. Okay, guys, I'm sending you so much love, lane, healing. Bye.